Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, it's actually not that cold, I'm in my nighty. I came down with Sam and Sophie to put the horses out because, what's happening Sophie? Um, they're getting in, to go in a new field. They're going in a new field, which they're all really chubby. So we're gonna have to be really strict on how long they go out there. <laughs> also, we're gonna have to run around the field trying to find them. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Also, Sam says he wants to try something different. This is gonna be exciting. Try what? I have an idea of what he wants to do, but we'll see. There's just something about the love between a mini and her girl. Yeah. Look at her, she knows. What? Yeah. Are you just like yeah. I've been all around the world. Great to go in. Always been a restless girl. But now there's a wind of change. I've never ever felt this way. Longing for you, pick up the phone. Catching the flight, I'm coming home. Back to the place I've always known. Home, home. Seeing you soon, I gotta run. We're gonna have a lot of fun. It's been in this summer. Well, that was uneventful. Yeah, I love it. They can roam anywhere they want. They can go back into their arena if it gets too hot. Or they can go over there. Or they can go back over to that field. So essentially, they have two places to get water now. They have the freedom that horses deserve. It didn't take long for the girls to figure that out. We need to bring them in like after an hour though because there's a lot of grass out here. What do you think, Gracie girl? Uh-oh, well, Penny's in heat. Hi, Gracie. She just intercepted Chino from going to her mare. Her dynamics is so fascinating, but did you see how she did that? She basically just walked between Gracie and Chino and said stay away. You were only like a friend oh, till we met the other day. Oh, didn't want the night to end. Oh, and now there's a wind of change. I never ever felt this way. You're stuck in some of mine. looking okay I think he's looking see how he looks that's why he's not spooky he's like hi Gabby oh you look chubby oh Chino's still running look at him with his new shoes he's running I don't want to go in there now <laughs> they're like what do we do how do we go where do we where do we go <laughs> they love it I think they love it you guys Unfortunately, we're not leaving them out as long because the grass is way more rich here and way more thick. Little pony. So they're getting more. All right, let's go, little ponies. Um, so uh, now that the horses have all this property to run, which is so exciting. Well, this is a good seven acres I think they're running on. But anyways, uh, Sam's gonna come in here with the tractor and cut down all these weeds. All right, Chino Bambino, it's time. 
Look at that handsome, handsome man. He got his exercise today. Aww. They're not gonna listen. Until they heard your tractor. As soon as they heard your tractor. Sam was gonna get the lawnmower and come out and uh, rip up all these weeds. Oh, there's prickles in them. Oh. We got 60 degrees, you guys. And it's still early. 60 degrees and it's still early. Just looking for something that I lost. Oh. Horses are frustrating, or at least it's hard for me to keep everything in one spot. And typically I'm good at that at home, like in the house, but not so much with horses. But anyways, today we made plans with friends, with our friends, you guys. There they go. You don't think Chino could uh, stay out there with them? He likes his food. For the heat of the afternoon, we bring the girls into the arena and then we put Chino in his stall. And the reason we put Chino in his stall is because he gets fed around the clock. He's a big horse and he needs a lot of food. So to maintain that beautiful girth that he has, <laughs> he eats all day. So we give him food around the clock. And the girls are easy keepers, so they do not get that. So he spends the heat of the afternoon alone in his stall, but he can see the girls and they can see him and he's happy in there. And then they go out again in the afternoon after the sun's gone down a little bit. So I mentioned earlier that we are, we have plans with friends today. Today we're headed out to do something super fun with our friends because life is too short to just be about work and horses and homeschool and cooking because nobody likes to cook. All right, so we are at another fair. I want to shove Willow in the car now. But we are at an agricultural show as well. So we're hoping to do a lot of stuff through today. So basically, Sophie is so sad she didn't get to enter her her, dog, her horse into a children's. First thing, bathrooms. We still haven't found, found have barn boots. Riders. Have you far, found barn boots? She's a frog jacket. Oh, that's adorable. Sophie and Julia are off to buy a baby cow. Also, what do you do when you're at the fair and you're horseback riders? You watch the horse show. We're just sitting here watching the horse show, enjoying life. All right, so these girls want a cow. Oh, sorry. We're gonna buy a cow. Babies. So, I love cows. Cows are my favorite. We're gonna buy a cow and leave it at your house, okay? That's the right cow. I like this one. Jerseys. Jerseys are the right. All right, let's go look. Oh, these are goats. Hello, Mr. Goat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Goat. Hello. I love tan colored animals. And Mr. Sheep. Hello, Mr. Oh, you are so soft. You must be boiling. He's cute. Appaloosa. He looks old. Look at him. He's like le leaning into people. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Jeez. I don't feel so bad about Willow now. He's a bit chunky, too. You're really cute. Wow. Itchy? Oh, <laughs> You want your bum scratched? Yeah? Don't push down the fence. He's going to break free. Run my bum! So I loved that ba that mini horse. It's, it's a sign. It's a sign, you guys. I love how old that goat is. That, so that miniature horse was 19 years old. Well, ours is 19 years old. But ours looks so young. Alright, I did not lose everybody. Do you want to go on the carriage ride? Is it a ride? Yeah. How does he know? the horse. No, I looked. I'm like, we were looking at the beehive, like, that's like in front of us. And then I look over my shoulder and the horses are like coming in front, like we're in front of the horses. So that I like grabbed her out of the way. Thank you for saving my daughter. <laughs> yeah, it was like imagine. Take like, those things got, out of your ears, you'll hear better. I said like imagine we got run over. No, let's or, not like, imagine you know, that. Like, we're equestrians, but we get run over by the horses. <laughs> but, yeah. The cow will eat this much hay feed in a day. One cow. Yep, that's why we don't have them. 
Oh, look at how cute they are. And the baby. Look at that cow. Oh, I want one to suck my finger. That's I want that one. Yeah, I love a brown cow. I do too. They give chocolate milk, you know. No. <laughs> oh, hello. Come here. You gotta name it Chance. Hey, baby. Are you going to milk a cow? Sorry, I can't hear you. Are you going to milk a cow? Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. They're so skinny. Babies are so skinny. Thank you. They're so cute. You want your bum scratched? Everybody wants their bum scratched. Then they produce this much milk every day too. She has a lot of milk. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite because I like your attitude. Let's forget about our curfew because all that is stuck in my head is me and you. Both speed and my heart is pacing, but I'm not sure I want to pace it because it only does this with you. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension. Move us into the next dimension. Let's just let our bodies be true. We make out, but thrill of it mess around. Let's 